Hello again everyone, we are back. We are back in the uh, quarry where we shot the last video and uh, today we're going to continue and see if we can find any more trial bites and possibly some cephalopods as well. So uh, we are at the uh, Ordovician uh, site. It's a uh, very large quarry. If you watched the uh, uh, last uh, movie then you'll know what I mean. But um, let's take a look. We are here our cars and uh, we're just about cracking on with searching so uh, as always I'll get back to you soon here we have a, a uh, an impression of a trial bite on the right and then we have a another trial bite on the left side unfortunately these are a bit far too gone I believe so not much worth rescuing, I'm afraid, but it's still cool to see. Just uh, found this uh, really nice trial bite in this piece of shaly red limestone. I don't think, I don't know what it is yet, but it's some kind of asafid trial bite. Nice. The, uh, nice display piece, Ooh. I think, when I get this one prepped, hopefully. Well, let's, let's move on. Just spot, uh, spotted another nice trial bite. Can you see it? I'll give you a clue. It's in the middle of the frame right now. I'll try to zoom in on it a bit. There you go. There it is. This is a. Uh, I don't know actually what this is yet, but it seems to be seems to be pretty complete. I'll just have to get some rocks away and, uh, and we'll find out what it looks like. So I just got the, uh, the rock loose and uh, I think this is an uh, Asophus, could be an Asophus Ishvoldi perhaps, maybe another type of Asophus species. It's uh, almost complete. There's a little bit of the pygidium missing over here, but overall, it's a. Uh, you can see the eye poking out right in the middle of the frame. So it's a uh, well, another nice find. Happy with this one. Just found a uh, very rare trilobite. Unfortunately, it's uh, in pieces, but uh, I might find the other half. This is a Megis Tuspis trilobite. You can see the, the thorax, and to the right side there is a very long and elongated head. You can see the the nose section all at the top. It's like a triangular shape. And then you have the eye right here in the middle, and there is also a, a spine that's unfortunately come, come loose. But I'll try and glue this piece a bit so I can transport it back home because it's a very rare trial bite and it's worth preserving anyway I think so uh, happy days right right so uh, I found this come a little closer yes please don't trip no I'll try to not what is this this is uh, sorry for the pronunciation uh, let's eat this uh, and uh, so it's a cephalopod uh, and uh, these, uh, I think, are very, very beautiful with the uh, spiral yeah. here, with the yeah. uh, coiled portion. Really and nice. It's I'll... a big block, though. It's a big block, uh, but I'm very strong, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> you just push it a bit. Uh, yeah. You see how just use your I fritz, am. fists. Uh, so this is uh, the critical part where yeah. I, ouch, need to uh, try to extract. From the over. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yep. Alright, maybe. Mm -mm. So far, we have found some pretty nice trial bites. And uh, also some other interesting stuff as well. Let's see what happens now here. It's got a go good crack going there. Yep. Oh, Hopefully it's cracking it's... perfectly. <laughs> oh, it is? 
This is pure luck. <laughs> Nothing else. We well, it's not, uh, it's not uh, out yet, but... Uh, look, look at this yeah, yeah. That just... Uh, I'll try not to ah. kill myself here. Please do. <laughs> Please do try to keep off. Keep off. <laughs> Please, see. do kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look yeah, at but that. Th th then I can take all your time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Oh my god, that's nice. Yeah. That Amazing. is really good. Ah, this one's gonna be a really nice display, please. Of course. In my uh, what is vitrine scope? <laughs> it's a cabinet, <laughs> yeah, a glass you. cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> now you're, yep. I think you're pretty happy about that one, isn't you? Aren't Satisfied you? Satisfied to say the least. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. It's really beauty. It's a real beauty. <sighs> yeah. Let's, nice. Let's crack on. Here, my other friend has found a really nice. Enrolled, pretty small trial bite. This is some kind of Asafus trial bite, and it's uh, all complete with the the eyes and everything intact, and also pigeon on the back. Died way too early. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> had it the whole life in front of him, <laughs> and just suddenly he passed away. So, uh, well, let's crack on. Now we are making our way up to. Uh, a deposit of uh, Dolby limestone as they have dumped here. So uh, we're just checking the, the road on the way up to this site and hopefully we can find something cool or even nice or beautiful along the way. Well, we found you. Apart from ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the bad humor. <laughs> oh, well. Look at that. I think Paris found something, something cool. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Looks like a. Uh, well, yeah, it's a trilobite frigidium. And what's that on the top there? Is that a complete one? No. No. It's just a. Just pieces. Well, give it a smack and see what happens. Only the pygidium, yeah, as nice usual. A nice gastropod, always. <laughs> I'm on my way. It's like pure treasure hunting. So did you, oh my, oh my lord, but, look at uh, that. Still a pretty oh one. Why, that's nice. Alongside Northosaurus. Cool. That's an Orthoceros on the on the side, right there, and then there's a beautiful gastropod in the middle. Do you think you can get it out of there? It looks very loose, so yeah. probably I will get the uh, won't get it with uh, any piece of rock. But let's, see. let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. There it goes. Nice gastropod. Cool find. Now we've re reached the formation with the uh, Dolby limestone deposits. And I've just uh, found a uh, nice Chinosveritis crystallized echinoid like creature. I think I'll and split this one down and perhaps I'll keep this one. It's nice crystals inside. Just found uh, myself a true heartbreaker here. This is an Asophus ludibundus. Big size as well but uh, as you can see half the face is gone. However there is still one cheek and one eye preserved on this side and the complete left side. There's also some of the pygidium and thorax missing on that side, but as it's a good size, I think I'll hold on to this one as, as far as I'm concerned. I haven't found anything better yet, so that's so for complete one as well. Well, 
I'm uh, starting getting a little bit tired <laughs> and uh, we have still have a couple of hours left to uh, to climb up these rock piles and uh, I've just spotted another pretty nice trial bite I don't know if you can see it I'll zoom in on it there you go there is a oh come on a little bit of focus please thank you there you go you have a there that's better view it's what looks like to, looks like to be a uh, complete nihilius trial bite and uh, it's a uh, yeah pretty good size as well I'll uh, put some glue on the eye as I can see it's about to, to get loose so um, I'll get some uh, glue put on it and then I'll put it in the bag cool find <laughs> now we found another what we believe is an Asophus ludibundus trilobite or mm -hmm. is it yeah it is not complete Looks though like, you can see it has some uh, yeah it's where weathered away a bit yeah well let's well. split it and see what happens oh that went smoothly yeah but <laughs> <laughs> we trashed the trilobite <laughs> There's literally no, nothing, there's nothing, nothing there. there. Oh, that's a shame. False advertising. Well, I'm still in the lead, it seems, <laughs> with this one. I got myself another Asaphus Ludibundus, it seems. And uh, it's a pretty nice one, if I may say so. I'll show you it. I'll show you it right now. And uh, Mat no, oh yeah, and Matthias uh, made this. Beautiful noise when he saw it. Uh, like a girl, uh, a little girl on the, in the 90s getting uh, tickets to Spice Girls or something. Yeah, that sound. That's probably about right. Well, let's take a look at Rollbite. It's uh, a complete Ludibundus Rollbite. And uh, the only thing that is, well, it's not wrong with it, but it's the only. Thing that is a little bit uh, well I don't find the words but um, it's got some shell loss on the uh, pygidium otherwise it's a uh, complete nice big size Ludibundus trilobite and I'm very very happy about this one it'll be uh, very nice to, to prepare there's also a crack going through uh, the eye over here so I have to put some glue to stabilize it and then uh, yeah we'll uh, prep it at home nice find so uh, we just uh, left the, uh, the Dolby limestone formation deposits and uh, and now I'm looking at some red Holland uh, limestone again on another spot and I've just found a very, very small and rolled uh, trial bite. I don't know if it's complete, complete yet, but uh, it certainly looks like an unrolled, uh, complete, probably Nihilius trial bite. Oh, did you find my trilobite? Yeah, I found your trial bite right here. It's a very tiny, I believe. Let's see if I can get it, get this. Out without ruining it at all. It's very loose this stone, so uh, shouldn't be any trouble. I hope. Let's see if we can get it out. Yeah, I think we. No, <laughs> we can't. Just yet. Have to dig a little bit more. Around the edges. I can hold the camera. Yeah. You want to. So you can use sure, the sure, sure. It's a very, very small one. Mm. Come on. I think it helps if you do some uh, tennis player moaning. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> 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 
see? How about that? There you go. <laughs> yeah, suddenly feels much better. Oh, look, it's beautiful. <laughs> Is that Goofy playing tennis? <laughs> yeah. You've never... Oh. Wait, it's small, wait. small, small. Let's see. I have to get focus. There. Alright. So it's a bit badly preserved on the the chic. But nice. uh, it's still a pretty cute little one. I think I'll just mm. uh, keep, keep hold of it. Yep. Thank you. Just spotted another not a trial bite among the the reddish hole and limestone that we are looking through once more and uh, this one is a uh, pretty nice some shell loss but uh, still it's all there it's a uh, an Ileus trial bite and I believe this is the uh, Ileus armadillo and that's uh, quite a large example as well so uh, pretty pleased with this one nice find it's uh, a bit late in the evening it's about 7 o'clock p.m. And, uh, we've been here since since 9 this morning so uh, it's quite a long day but uh, also a very productive day sorry about the wind and uh, I've just uh, just found another nice trial bite. Actually, I didn't see it, but there is two large trial bites in this block. One is unfortunately very damaged, but there is also one right here on the edge. And I hope that I can get this one out. At least I'm gonna try. So uh, yeah. Hopefully it turns out well. Well, it didn't turn out exactly how I had hoped. Fortunately it's uh, kind of broken. The, uh, the most of the cephalon is missing. So uh, I'll uh, leave this one as here for someone else to find someday. On to the next. <laughs> Adrian has just found a uh, massive trial bite cephalon and I don't know if you can see this but uh, it's a uh, gi gi gigantic one well, that, It's some kind the water of... water uh, didn't help at all <laughs> No, just made it more invisible It's a... Uh, well there is an eye over here there should be an eye somewhere over here as well. Yep, here's the eye. Yeah. And there is a uh, cephalon with a glabella in the middle here. And then you have the the nose sticking out around here there. somewhere. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah, you can see the edge. The edge of it going here. Up towards the eye. So there could be something else buried in this rock. And this is a uh, huge... Megis Tuspis trilobite. At least it's the head of one. <laughs> and it's a uh, remarkable find. These are very, very, very rare. So, uh, congratulations to that one. Thank you. Very and, nice uh, indeed. With, uh, some huge amount of luck. <laughs> something. Yeah, that would be sensational if it was uh, a complete trilobite in there. But you never know. So, uh, happy days, I guess. <laughs> We also, of course, have these massive, massive cephalopods, Orthoceras species. Always cool to see. Very nice indeed. Well, I'm um, I'm done for the day, so to speak. I have only have a uh, three-hour drive back home. And uh, well, we'll uh, do a summary as al always. Um, it was a very good day, lots of good finds, I think. And uh, well, we we'll do a, a little wrap up when we get home. So uh, see you there. And we are back in the shed. 
Uh, I hope you like that fossil hunt. And uh, we're gonna do a little, a little wrap up now and uh, see what we uh, found again. And then I'm gonna show you some other fossils from that location as well. As we were uh, back uh, after a couple of weeks, weeks again, but the weather wasn't very suitable for, for filming as, as it was pouring down like six hours or so. So it wasn't very nice, uh, but we found some goodies anyway. So I'm gonna show you that, uh, those uh, fossils as well. Here we have the hoard. <laughs> um, there are some nice fossils indeed here. And uh, let's start from the from the left side. And uh, I'm gonna start and show you this Asaphus trilobite that I found on the other uh, the other trip we made a couple of weeks after the first one. And uh, it's a pretty complete. SFS uh, species uh, it's missing a bit of the cheek on this side otherwise it looks to be quite intact and um, it's gonna be a delight to prep this one as I think it's gonna be a very nice display and uh, also it's always interesting to see what pops out when you start prepping these beauties and here we have the uh, bigger Nileus trilobite that I showed you uh, on location and uh, it's got some some shuttle damage I've just washed all the fossils a bit and uh, then you actually see what's hiding underneath the dirt and the, uh, the gravel and the, the bits and pieces that are stuck on top uh, so uh, Either way, it's, I think it's going to be quite a nice specimen and uh, if you put a little water on then you can see the nice shell structure even more and it just pops out directly from uh, the surrounding rock so uh, I think it's going to be a uh, quite a nice piece anyway so I'm, I'm happy with that one. And also we have the the uh, big uh, but broken Ludibundus, uh, Alsafus Ludibundus trilobite. Uh, this is also a heartbreaker, as I said on the movie. Um, if you get this one wet, you can also see the incredible details in the uh, shell structure. Uh, and these trilobites are, or these fossils from from this type of limestone is uh, known for a very high rate of preservation. So, uh, well, it was worth keeping anyway. So I, I'm, I'm still glad that I found this one. This one is also from the other trip. Uh, didn't film that one either, but uh, this was just laying on the ground, just like that, fully prepared by nature itself got a few bits and pieces uh, missing on the shell but overall it's a very nice complete trial white. The only issue with it apart from some shell loss is that the eyes are uh, cut off uh, on the middle but uh, it's still a very nice piece I believe. It's uh, sitting there on the ancient seafloor just waiting to be shown again to the world very nice as a first trilobite then we have some bits and bobs here this is a uh, very very large as a fit trilobite i believe it's an uh, asophus h waldi but i'm not quite sure there's uh, some remains of an eye and the other side should be all intact unfortunately it's uh, got some heavy damage to the pygidium on the back but uh, the rest of the pygidium should be underneath here and uh, well after some preparation I still think that this is gonna be a, a great piece and um, just look at the sheer sheer size of this trial bite it's quite cool I believe so uh, also very happy with this one then I found this uh, piece it's uh, not in the uh, in the film 
from the quarry but I found this on the the other the other uh, occasion so uh, what we have here is a double fossil it's a uh, pretty complete uh, Nihilius uh, trilobite and it's got some minor damage to one of the sides here but otherwise it's it's all there uh, and also underneath on the same piece of rock there is a um, Niobe from Thales trilobite very ornate uh, pygidium as you can see here and uh, yeah the cephalon is gone so I don't know what it's gonna look like after some preparation but it's still a very cool piece to have two two species of trilobites on the same uh, slab so um, also very happy with this one and then we have some uh, of the trial bites that I found on the actual film. Here is the uh, Megistaspi della Extenuata, <laughs> I believe it is anyway, uh, or Megistaspi Extenuata. Uh, not quite sure which one, which one it is. It's the same uh, trial bite, but there are different names on these in different publications. But it's still a, a very cool, even if it's broken. It's Still a very nice find, I believe. So uh, gonna do some minor prep to this one, and then just leave it as is, I, I think. And also, uh, we have the other uh, trilobite that I found on the uh, on the film. And I'm still unsure how much of this is still remaining underneath here, but you can see the eye right here, and then some uh, of the uh, thorax and. Uh, also the pygidium, even if some of it's already gone, but it's worth uh, worth prepping. And then we have the uh, some of the other Dalby finds, the Dalby limestone. We have the uh, Nihilus. Looks to be uh, a really complete and nice specimen. And I've just put some glue on here, as I said in the in the actual film. Uh, to stop the eye from falling off, <laughs> but otherwise it uh, should be a complete trilobite inside here, so it's gonna be a nice one to prep. And also we have the uh, other Asaphus ludibundus trilobite that I showed you on the film. And the uh, the damage to the pygidium is quite severe, but uh, overall it should be a nice trilobite inside here. I'm gonna try and. Put some water on here so you can see how it probably will turn out when we get this one prepped. Of course we need to get some of the brown staining off as well but you can already see it's popping out of the rock and uh, yeah you see both the eyes here and then uh, some of the shell underneath so I think most of the shell is there so uh, I think this is gonna be a quite nice specimen anyway. Very happy with this one. And here are some various fossils. Uh, I believe I showed you this one on the, on the film. And uh, you can see a spine down here, and an eye, and the cephalon, and the other eyes behind here somewhere. And this is also a nice trilobite. I believe this is some kind of Tico Pige trilobite. And uh, it's gonna be a nice one to prep as well. And then we have some cephalopods, uh, probably Estoniocera cephalopods, also from the uh, Dalby limestone. And here we have a uh, trilobite that is uh, quite rare. Uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, but this is the the cephalon. And uh, you can see a little bit of the eye over on this side. And there should be an eye somewhere baked inside this rock. There's also a spine on the side of the cephalon. And this one is called Cyrtometopus clavifrons. And it's a uh, Cherurid trilobite that is quite rare. So uh, I hope I can see also there is a spine. They had two spines on the back side uh, of the pygidium, and then they have also two spines. Uh, on the side of the cephalon for protection when they uh, were enrolled so uh, 
no predators would eat them. So uh, I think this trilobite is more or less complete, but uh, it's gonna be uh, interesting to prep and see how much of it is actually there. I'm gonna use some air abrasion on this and some penning. So uh, hopefully this will turn out as a nice example. And then I just have to show you this one. This is a very special trial bite that I found on the other occasion. Um, and uh, this is a Megistaspis Heros. It's a very, very rare trial bite. Uh, this particular example is not very, very big, but it's also probably the reason why it's still intact. It's got some, some uh, shell damage, but uh, usually you you only find these uh, pagidiums. They are quite common in the uh, red uh, hole and limestone. But uh, to find the whole trilobite is extremely rare. So um, you can see that uh, it's going underneath the rock here. And the tor thorax segments are visible. And uh, also if you turn it on the side here as well, you can see on the top uh, of the trilobite here there is uh, also a bit of the uh, actual cephalon sticking out here so uh, this trial bite should be probably complete uh, they had two very long spines as well on the, the sides of the cephalon and those spines are probably um, well probably gone or perhaps if I'm lucky there is still a spine somewhere inside here but uh, anyway, it's a uh, very rare and very cool find, so I'm extremely satisfied with this uh, find. Uh, it was a true uh, trip maker for me, of course. Happy days. And uh, the last uh, fossil I'm going to show you today is um, quite a cool example of a cephalopod. And this is a uh, cephalopod called a it's called Ancestral Surfs uh, and it's got some very beautiful shell texture as you can see here. Um, most of it is still buried in the rock but there should be a, a curl here on the tail. Curl uh, just like the Lituitis uh, cephalopod that was shown in the, uh, in the video that uh, Adrian found. There is a small curl on the, on the top of the uh, tail. And uh, there is probably a little bit of it missing, but you can see the internal structure as well here on the uh, on the shell. And uh, well, just just look at that beautiful shell structure. It's uh, yeah, it's extremely nice in my opinion. And this is one of the first cephalopods of this type that I've found, so I'm very very happy with this one. And uh, so there we have it, uh, all wrapped up and ready. And uh, well, uh, I'm gonna go on a uh, trip very soon. Uh, it's gonna be a trip abroad to uh, a very famous fossil location. So uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you there on the next video. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you liked this uh, content. And if you did, please consider subscribing or at least give me a like. And uh, see you on the next hunt. Cheers!